and welcome to the Nurturing Coach channel. I am Sarah Squires, aka The Nurturing Coach. Today I want to talk to you about something that I get asked a hell of a lot by concerned parents um, who are attempting to co-parent with their ex and are worried about their child getting caught up in the middle of it, which inevitably they do. So today I'm going to talk to you about how do you rescue your child from a narcissistic parent. So children get caught in the middle of conflict within families. So even when the family is intact, a child will get triangulated into arguments. They'll be expected to take the narcissist side. It might not be as overt as just telling them that they have to, but it will be very covert in as much as the child learns that if they don't do what the narcissist says, if they don't take their side, if they disagree with them and don't comply, then they will miss out on something. Now, that might be something that's important and they won't take them to their football or they'll just won't talk to them or they'll go over the top with lavishing praise on one of their siblings to, all designed to condition their behavior to do exactly what they want and so when you separate that obviously is amplified because they can't get to you anymore so they want to use the children not only to hurt you but also to get to you and what this does is it puts that child in that horrible position of loyalty conflict they love you but they're being kind of pu pushed and forced to choose between you which Children should never have to do. They should be able to love both of you. They're half of both of you. It's asking them to choose which side of themselves they want to hate. And no child should ever have to hate any side of themselves. And so, so many parents, understandably, feel incredibly powerless at what to do. How do they protect their child knowing full well the position that they're being put in? So I wanted to answer that today in this video. So how do you rescue a child from a narcissistic parent? Honestly, you're not going to like the answer. You can't. And let me explain. <laughs> so you can't rescue them because this is their battle. They have to learn how to manage that that parent they're going to have to deal with them for the rest of their lives this parent isn't going to disappear even if they do for periods of time they will sporadically return and be the same person and manip try to manipulate them in the same ways so in trying to rescue them what you're doing is you're denying them the opportunity to learn how to do this to develop the skills that they need for the rest of their lives now when they're very young what the best way that you teach them those skills is by modeling it doing it yourself putting those boundaries in place being strong with your communication being very assertive in your communication and being practicing a lot of self-love and self-care Obviously, as they get older, you can teach them more practical things such as critical thinking, solution building, consequences. These are all things that will help them in the long run. But it's not about rescuing them because the second part of the reason why you can't is when you want to rescue or when you try to rescue, you're creating a dependency. You're creating a dependency on you in that moment because they're saying and you're allowing that to happen that they can't deal with this can you deal with it for them as they grow up with that mindset they will attract people who will abuse them they will become codependent and so every time you attempt to rescue you're you're feeding into that codependency if that is something that is cropping up for you that strong desire to rescue rather than empower then you need to work on that you need to work on your own wounds around rescuing and 
being that rescuer because that dynamic that drama triangle is not a healthy place to be it's incredibly toxic and you can't get your child out of it if you're not out of it because you as a rescuer are therefore putting them into the place of victim and so by rescuing them you're just keeping that dynamic going when you're able to step out of that yourself and give the child the skills to deal with this then that dynamic doesn't exist it's a bullying dynamic and if you think about it if your child was being bullied at school i would hope that you wouldn't go charging into school and kick the kid's ass what you would do is you would talk to your child about the things that they can do help them develop some skills help them to know that this isn't about them that they are lovely people that this is always about the other person and so think about it in the same way you want to be empowering your child upskilling them so that they can deal with this as they grow up you want them to believe that they aren't deserving of this treatment in the same way that they that you would deal with it if it was a school bully so like i say you might not have liked the initial response that you can't rescue them but i hope that you see that actually that's a very good thing that you can't because you don't want to create dependency in your children what you want is them to be strong and independent so that when they go into adulthood and they attract their own relationships that they are equal relationships not based on a need or within that drama triangle if you are struggling with any of those issues if you are a natural rescuer which recovering rescuer here i do understand it then do reach out there's lots of work that we can do around nurturing you into a more empowering role moving from rescuer is not about not caring it's about the dynamics within that and also yourself your self-worth so do reach out we can we can work with you on those things if it's co-parenting that you're struggling with i have numerous resources i'm literally in the process of finishing off a co-parenting course that will be coming out incredibly soon hopefully next month or so um, but again if you need immediate support with that do reach out we can again work with you one-to-one -one on that as well i hope that you're all doing well and you are taking care of yourselves and each other that sounded a bit dr phil didn't it or whoever jerry springer what that was but i mean it please do take care of yourselves and each other this is a, a time for compassion and like i say do reach out if you're struggling with any of the issues that we've talked to you today don't forget the, to like comment subscribe it does help um and i will speak to you very soon take care everyone bye bye hey i just want to add a caveat to the video um when i talk about um, rescuing the children it's about those that are in um, co-parenting situations so where their relationship is still continuing between yourself and the narcissistic parent obviously in cases of parental alienation uh, where your relationship has been completely annihilated it's absolutely necessary that you do what you can to save the child from that parent i still stand by the fact that you work on yourself and those wounds but it's a slightly different dynamic and i just wanted to make that clear for anyone who has had their relationship who is experiencing severe alienation that obviously going to court for your rights and to um, allow your children to have a relationship with you and the one that they deserve to have is totally different and is that is not what this video was about so i just wanted to make that clear take care everyone bye bye